the life and sad ending of Edward Winter. Edward Dean Winter was born on June 3, 1937, in Ventura, California, and began his acting career in Ashland, Oregon, as a member of the cast of the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. During the 1961 season, he played Claudius in Hamlet and stayed for an extended repertory season where he appeared in The Boyfriend and Rashomon. He went on to early successes on Broadway. Winter was twice nominated for Tony Awards as Best Supporting or Featured Actor. The first was in 1967 as Ernst Ludwig in Cabaret, then in 1969 as J.D. Sheldrake in Promises, Promises. He moved on to television, appearing on the daytime serials The Secret Storm and Somerset. His career turning point was when Winter was cast on MASH as Lieutenant Colonel, later Colonel Flagg, becoming one of the program's more memorable and popular recurring characters. He appeared in seven episodes as Flagg during the show's 11-year run. The Flagg character was an intelligence agent who brought a stereotypically paranoid, conspiracy-driven approach to his tasks. In some episodes, his character was particularly vicious. Before his introduction as Flagg, Winter had appeared on the series as Captain Halloran. A number of fans have expressed the belief that Captain Halloran might have been one of Flagg's many aliases, especially as he said to Dr. Friedman, we played poker once, which Captain Halloran had. However, this is debatable. Halloran was a reasonably amiable character, whereas every persona Flagg adopted was nasty, regardless of what alias he was using. Winter reprised the role of Colonel Flagg in an episode of the spin-off series, Aftermash, in 1984. Winter appeared in the Season 1 episode of The A-Team, titled Holiday in the Hills, in 1983. Winter also appeared in the TV show Alice, Season 2, Episode 7. He played Alice's possible boyfriend, Jack. In 1974, he played a pedophile in the infamous Marcus Welby, M.D. episode, The Outrage. The same year, he appeared in the films The Parallax View and The Disappearance of Flight 412. In 1976, he appeared in the crime comedy Special Delivery. Winter was a recurring character in the first season of the primetime sitcom Soap in 1977 to 1978, portraying Congressman Walter McCallum, who was having an affair with the Tates' daughter, Eunice. In 1976, he appeared in the Mary Tyler Moore Show, in which he played a congressman with a former tie to organized crime. He guest starred in season one on the A-Team in the episode Holiday in the Hills and appeared in season five episode Road Games. In 1977, Winter appeared in an episode of Lou Grant titled Housewarming as a reporter who beat his wife. The same year, he appeared in the popular TV movie The Gathering, also starring Ed Asner and Never Caught a Killer, the pilot for the crime drama The Feather and Father Gang. Then, Winter starred in the 1979 NBC primetime drama Project UFO and was featured in the 1980 film A Change of Seasons. He appeared as the corrupt county commissioner Bob Gebhardt in the 1983 movie Porky's 2, The Next Day, the romantic comedy The Buddy System in 1984, and in From the Hip, 1987, also directed by Porky's director Bob Clark. In 1980, he played Clark Gable in the TV movie The Scarlet O'Hara War. In 1982, he appeared in the Magnum P.I. episode Heal Thyself. He appeared in two memorable episodes of Dallas in 1981 as plastic surgeon Dr. Frank Waring, Mitch Cooper's mentor for a bit. He also appeared as Charlton Charlie Chambers as Ed Winter in the outstanding 1980 episode of Columbo, Rest in Peace, Mrs. Columbo. Winter guest starred in the Golden Girls in 1989 episode Blind Date as John Quinn, a blind man who dates Blanche despite her reservations due to his disability. Winter co-starred in the 1986 TV movie A Christmas Gift as Thomas Renfield with co-star John Denver. Three years later, he portrayed Las Vegas entertainer Johnny Roman in Mike Hammer, Murder Takes All. He appeared on a 1991 episode of the television series Night Court as Clarence Egan. Winter had a recurring role on the Fox sitcom Herman's Head from 1991 to 1994. 
Winter portrayed Mr. Crawford, an executive at the Waterton Publishing, where the series' lead character, Herman Brooks, William Ragsdale, worked. He appeared in the 1995 Seinfeld episode, The Beard, playing Robert's boss. Winter was featured as the real-life character of Carl Lawson in a 1995 episode of UPN's Real Ghosts, also known as Haunted Lives, True Ghost Stories. In the last years of his career, he did voice work on such programs as The Real Adventures of Johnny Quest, Duckman, Ah, Real Monsters, The Angry Beavers, Fantastic Max, Paddington Bears, and the animated film Adventures in Odyssey, Shadow of a Doubt. With his personal life, in 1980 he married Linda Foster. They remained together until his death. Sadly, in 2001, Winter died in Woodland Hills, California, of complications from Parkinson's disease. He was 63 years old. His ashes were scattered into the Pacific Ocean.